Thanks everybody, this is Stan of FileMate. Today we're doing a special edition of FileMate Clear Tablet. This is a normal nine year old who has a FileMate Clear. As you can see, he's got a couple different games on the front, he's got a screensaver. So we're gonna optimize this tablet for him. So number one, you can see looking at the front screen, he's got two different Bad Piggy apps. Bad Piggy one, Bad Piggy number two. Matter of fact, he's got two zombie dashes. Those are the exact same apps, so they're duplicates. So when you see something like that, you're just gonna tap your finger on it, and you're gonna drag it to this X remove that's red, and you're just gonna drop it there. So let's do that again for, let's say the next one is Ninja Jump. We're gonna tap and hold, and we're gonna drag it to the remove. We'll do that one more time for Bad Piggies, and remove. So we're kind of cleaned up his screen a little bit. He shouldn't have any more duplicates. I'm just checking to see. I don't see any more duplicates. Let's say we wanted to take those games and put them in one folder for him. So we tap on Zombie Dash and we're just going to dump it into Minecraft. Then we're going to take this one here, Wingsuit, and we're going to drag it and dump it into that one. Ninja Jump, drag it and drop. And there's another wingsuit that we forgot to delete, but we'll go ahead and now delete it by dragging it over here to the red X. So we've cleaned up his screen a little bit. We'll, we just get bad piggies done. And we're going to move it there. So now we've cleaned up his screen. We've got some different things going on. We do have two browsers, Opera Mini and Chrome. Plus, if we tap on the apps folder, we actually have a third browser. Having more than one browser is not necessarily a good thing on a tablet. So we're going to talk about that shortly. We're going to tap back on the home screen and now we're going to go back to settings and that's in our apps folder. Again, you might see bad piggies again here. This is your apps folder where all the apps are stored. The one on the home screen by tapping back on the home screen and finding bad piggies here is kind of a shortcut so you don't have to go to the apps folder to get it. Now let's go back to the apps folder. We're going to find settings. If we don't see settings on the first screen, I'm going to take my index finger and I'm going to slide across the screen. And I find settings right here. I'm going to tap on settings. Let's scroll at the very top. And Wi-Fi should be at the very top. We have Bluetooth, data usage, sound, display. Let's talk about display real quick. There's a sleep functionality, which is the fourth option down. If you tap on it, you can set it up to how long the tablet's going to turn itself off when there's a period of inactivity. It's the same thing for your computer, your laptop, iPhone, Android phone, whatever. So if this is Johnny's little tablet or Julie's little tablet, you need to set up the sleep phone. That way they don't come to you every moment and, and every minute and say, my tablet turned itself off. So you might want to set it for a 10 minute interval. Maybe you want to set it for a half an hour interval. It's up to you. Just keep in mind, the longer you have the sleep function, the more battery it's going to use. Okay? So in this particular case, I have my son's tablet set up at 30 minutes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to storage. And I'm going to tap on storage. And what I'm seeing here is I have enable media scanning on SD, which is good. And enable media scanning on USB. Both are checkmarked, which is good. The next thing I want to know is that there's an internal storage here. This is internal storage number one. It has a total space of 1.15 gigabytes, and you notice that apps are consuming 301 megabytes worth of that space, or approximately a third. If I look down a little bit further, I see a second internal storage, which has 12.85 gigabytes, and there's only 3.21 megabytes of apps. So this huge amount of space is not being utilized. That's where apps need to be stored. Okay, currently all the apps are stored on this internal space, which eventually is going to run out if he continues to download apps. So what do you do? We're going to go to apps and you'll see that all the apps are listed here that are downloaded. There's also the ones on the SD card running and all. Simply tap on on SD card. You're going to see the apps are listed here. Okay. And you notice there's little boxes here. None of them are check marked. They should all be checkmarked if at all possible. So we're going to stop with the top one, which is Adobe Reader. We're going to tap on it and we're going to move to the SD card. And it's moving. Once it's complete, it'll say move the tablet. So we're going to hit the return key, go back and do the next one. Attico is a reader. We're going to move the SD card. Does that mean it's going to an external SD card? Not at all. It's going to the 
internal SD card, which is that larger memory that we talked just a moment ago, the 12.85 gigabytes. And that's where apps should be stored. So we're gonna move this one. We're not gonna do this for all the apps that are there. We're gonna do these for just a couple more. So I'm gonna go back, tap on apps. Actually, I'm gonna hit the return key. And I'm gonna do bad piggies. The thing I wanna mention about bad piggies is if you notice, I have a couple options of force stop, uninstall, move the SD card, which I'm gonna do here in a little bit, and clear the data. And there's clear the cache. Notice that the clear the cache has got 5.68 megabytes and the, the clear the data has 128 kilobytes. That's a, all his progress that he has in that game. So if I was to clear the cache or clear the data, it's gonna erase all his levels and how many stars he's gotten for bad piggies. Now, if I get a problem with bad piggies and I'm playing it and it freezes up, is it the device's fault or is it the app itself? Most likely than not, it's gonna be the app. So if you're having a problem with an app, visit www.google.com, click on play, in the search field type in bad piggies, click on um, user overview, click on reviews, click on one star reviews, click on newest, and see if other users are having the same problem. If they are, then it's the app. Okay, and if what you need to do next is you would uninstall it. So we're gonna get out of the apps because we're not gonna download every single one, but this is a process that needs to be done on every kid's tablet. So in apps, on SD card, you need to have blue check marks all the way down. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to all, and this is where all the apps are downloaded and stored. These are the ones that come on the tablet and the ones that he's downloaded. So we're gonna take our finger and we're just gonna kind of scroll through here and he's got the regular browser. Notice I can do force stop, disable, or clear the data. I can't move it to the internal SD card because it's natively installed. If I wanted to keep this browser, I would just continue the way it is. If I wanted to disable it, I would tap on disable. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. I'm gonna talk about that here shortly. So the next one I'm gonna to go to is Chrome. Google Chrome is a browser that is used um, on laptops, desktops, and on tablets. This particular version that's listed here um, does have some issues in which it's constantly showing lagging, it's freezing, you will constantly will get a message called app is not responding, please wait or report. In that's the case, please go into Chrome, disable it. Hit OK. It's now disabled. Does it mean it's removed from the tablet? No. Can I enable it anytime by tapping on enable? Yes. So if you have a kid tablet, they don't need multiple browsers. So find a browser that you like. You can even download one from the Google Play Store like I have on this one, which is Opera Mini, and I'm just gonna keep that one. So I'm gonna go to the next thing. My son doesn't use Google Play Books. He likes Attico and Kindle Reader, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that, and I'm gonna hit disabled. Again, I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit the return key. I'm gonna do the same thing for Google Play Magazines. Disabled. Okay. Hit the return key, I'm going to the next one. Google Play Movies and TV. Uninstall updates. Notice you don't see disable there, that's okay. Tap on that, tap on okay. Tap on okay again. You're gonna tap okay. And if you go to that Google Play Movies and TV, now it says disabled. Tap on disable, tap on okay. Hit the return key. The next one we're gonna do is Google Play Music. Uninstall updates, okay. Okay again. Okay, and then Google Play Music, disabled. Okay, now we'll go to the next one. My son does not use Google Plus. Some of the teenagers do, some of the hipsters that are out there, they like that. Um, he doesn't really care, he doesn't even know what it is, so I'm just gonna disable it. It's gonna be less for him to worry about. Okay, I'm gonna hit the return key. The next one I'm looking for is news and weather. Again, my son, he's nine years old. He's more into Legos and Halo than he is about the news and the weather. I'm gonna go ahead and disable it for him. 
there's that second browser that I have, Opera Mini. We're gonna keep that going. And let me see what else. There's Talk by Google. That's another item that my son doesn't use. I'm gonna hit Disable. Now, could you disable other stuff than the ones that I'm recommending? Yes, you could, but you gotta be careful. There's certain natively installed items that need to be left alone. And I'll give you an example of what they are. Let's go back up. You see the system UI? That needs to be left alone and not enabled or disabled. Another one would be system storage, syst settings. Network location. Anything that's got Google Services Framework, Google Play Store, Google Play Services, Google Partner Setup, Google One Time, Google Contacts, Google Bookmarks, Backup Transport and Account Managers, all that needs to be left alone. That's not something that I would recommend that you disable. Okay? So, now that we got that squared away, parents have always asked me, what about security in my tablet? or on my son's tablet. If you go to security, you notice I have a screen lock of none. This is what I recommend for kids, none, okay? Unless they work for the Spy Kids division, there's no need for them to have any type of security on their tablet. Most of the times, kids like to do either the slide, the pattern, or their pen. If they do that and they forget it, they're gonna have to visit another one of my videos called Basic Troubleshooting. The next thing that we're going to do is that we've disabled a couple items. We have um, moved car, uh, apps to the internal SD card, and we're gonna go to the Google Play Store real quick. Tap on play. And I'm gonna back out of this one just a moment because I wanna get to the screen that's previous to this. So here is the Google Play Store, how it looks. There's three different icons. There's a square, stacked square boxes, magnifying glass, 